Hello, everyone. I lost fucking power to the house, <laughs> to the everything. To the every, it was all bad, and then I had to go on a video repair journey, and it was all fucking bad. And I downloaded so many things that I think my power, my my computer is actually just a virus now. But hopefully, everything <laughs> is, is all of it's ruined. worth it for Japuti Jams. If, let me tell you right now, if you've made it this far into this over an hour thirty hour twenty four minutes, <laughs> please leave a like. God damn. For the love of God, leave a like for Wokey's this, disease computer. Actually, you know what? This is going in the front of it so people know how much. Now actually play the theme song. <laughs> play the fucking intro to the fucking to the fucking series. Video series dedicated to the gacha Japuchi heroes. That's right. Spelled the same, pronounced completely different. I'm here with <laughs> <laughs> with um, I was about to say you're my collab character, but that's not correct. <laughs> the first... <laughs> I'm the collaboration banner. Yeah, you're the collaboration <laughs> character. I was actually trying to think like what I guess you're not a guest, you're my co-host. Co-host, that's, that's yeah, the co-host. one you want. That's the one I want. <laughs> My co-host Zen, Zen, Zenrot, or Zenrado, depending on hello, who. <laughs> Zenrado. If you're nasty, <laughs> <laughs> and we're here to talk about everyone's favorite Shonen Jump gotcha because it's the only one still left alive. Literally the only one still kicking, but it's doing pretty good as far as I can tell. Yeah, as far as I can tell, man, there's a lot of things to talk about. The first thing I want to bring up the fact that we were 100% fucking wrong about what that fucking ticket with the limiteds was gonna be. Yeah, that sucked. I mean, it was still nice, but damn. Oh, you can say it was nice. I'm gonna say what it was. What a bunch of fucking bull crap. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, kinda... well, I, I think I'm only saying it's nice because I still got a limited from it. Oh yeah, someone who didn't get any fucking limiteds from it. What yeah, a fucking scam. I, I got a dupe of Naruto and Sasuke, so I'm not too mad about that. Yeah, every single time I looked at who would my fourth team member be on PvP, I remembered if only it was a fucking select a limited. I'd be in such a good place right now, but it wasn't. Ugh, that's old business. I like the uh, the idea of starting this immediately talking about what we got wrong in the last episode. <laughs> that way we can address it and then move forward. And move forward we shall, because the 20 million download celebration is starting up. And that means all brand new set of dudes, a new limited, new dudes to summon on, and new free characters to get. Uh, before we start, it's actually time for me to introduce a brand new segment that has its own theme song. Zen, are you ready? It's not technically a theme song. I guess would be best called a jingle. I'm 90% sure I'm going to hate this, so let's do it. You are. <clears throat> It's great because I'm going to have to edit this, so Zen's going to get the raw, not as good version as to what everyone else (laughs) is going to get. All right. This is the problem of now I have to actually try and sing this, and I suck at singing. It's getting stage fried, everybody. We we might win. (laughs) No, I got to do this. We got serious from every area. Fuck, I already fucked up. God damn it. (laughs) My fucking stupid tongue. And now my dog's Even the dog is pissed. Dog is pissed at me. Don't worry about it. She'll be them. Okay, all right, I got it. This is man, I have a stupid fucking tongue. Yeah. We got series from every era. High Q two siren get a demon slaying character every other month now. So we hope and we pray that the series is on the horizon. Tell me, Zen, when are we getting Jujutsu Kaisen? <laughs> <laughs> fucking never. Clearly. <laughs> That's right, this is a brand new segment where we're going to be talking uh, about any of the new series that got added before Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> God, it's fucking... We've had so many repeat celebrations for, like, nothing serious. We're, we've had Buso Renkin come two times, and there's a third celebration for Buso Renkin coming. Yes. Buso Renkin is the cancelled, like, <laughs> next manga Kenshin. made by the Kenshin guy. In its day, it was this, uh, was it Samurai 7? Or what the fuck was that thing called? Samurai 8. Okay, Samurai it's not 8. as bad as Samurai 8. No, I'm just saying, if, it, if, it's, if it's day, it did very similar. It was the follow-up to a hit manga that did not hit the same levels. Like, I personally really like Buso Rengen. 
but I cannot deny the fact that most people do not like Pusa Rankin. <laughs> and it got cancelled after like 80 chapters. And it's gonna have three like additions to the game before we get anything for Jujutsu Kaisen. It's so crazy. Fucking it's like help that. me. So let's talk about the brand new series coming to Jujutsu, not to Jujutsu Kaisen. They, imagine that this character made a cameo in Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> It might happen. Coming to uh, to Jinpudi Heroes, we've got Inumura Dashi. Inumura Dashi. It is. It looks like a little uh, boy. Uh, you got me beat. I've never heard of that before in my life. I have never heard of this. It's apparently. Um, I think this is doing as a promo because his other series called Lycoponi like the Tomatoy Poodle is coming to Shonen Jump Plus service in Japan. So I guess that's kind of like a, hey, yo, check this out. Um, okay, I'm going to go to the page because I tried to find fucking anything on this series. So if you don't know this, I think it's pretty obvious. There's a clear disconnect between what the Japan side knows and what we know because there's certain jump and, certain Shonen Jump series that are not uh, action-based just don't get translated here. They just don't. And the ones that like don't get popular, usually fans translate it. But for series like this that are like comedies, you have to find the most dedicated people to actually translate this. It is impossible to find. So here's the description of this series then. Get ready. It's not Jujutsu Kaisen, but I think we might find something here for it. Uh, the kin kindergarten hero in Inumaru's chaotic life as he causes lively and funny incidents in his gag manga, Inumaru is just a little strange with his deep knowledge of celebrity and shonen jump gossip and his stubborn policy of not wearing pants. <laughs> He's wearing pants in his Jupiti Heroes character, I think, isn't he? <laughs> Wait, is he I wearing pants? I hope to god. <laughs> Holy shit, I actually don't think he's wearing pants. <laughs> if you look at his spray. <laughs> yeah, this is obviously the celebration we needed before we get Satoru Gojo, of course. <laughs> Important. His teacher, Tamako, is given the run around every day. This popular serial is around nine pages each week, sometimes with just a little color thrown in. That's just a fucking flex on Jujutsu Kaisen taking a fucking break for a bit. It's like, yo, we only put up nine pages and maybe we color it. Oh my god, you're right. He's not wearing pants. The only thing covering his small <laughs> dick is his little stuffed dog. Oh god. Perfect character oh to put god. in here. And then let me see. Do um, you want to guess how long this manga ran? How many volumes do you think it had? Or did it even have one volume? 50. Something ridiculous. It is 11 volumes. Okay, that's still a lot. It is still a lot, to be fair. That's more than it's more than Busa Rankin got. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> I don't know why you had to do that to me. I this is just going to be the episode of shitting on me, isn't it? Is it well, at least for this segment, it sure it is still as fucking is. So I doubt that these user ratings are accurate because this is from an anime site, and I'm gonna guess none of these motherfuckers read it. And just damn like, it, it actually shit. is more than Fuso Rankin. Fuso <laughs> Rankin got ten volumes. Oh yeah, that's what I like to hear. God. And you know what's great that that this guy only did nine pages each week, yeah. and he still has the audacity to put out eleven volumes. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um. Based off of user ratings, it's uh, let's only go with the tens and ones because that's the most important. Uh, it's got a 14% ten, so at least 14% of the people who voted on this it has 21 votes. Of the 21 people, 14% uh, of them gave it a perfect 10 out of 10, saying this is peak manga, this is peak everything, this little boy wearing no pants. And then 33% of those 21 people um, gave it a one, <laughs> saying this is the absolute worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> God so, damn it. Yeah. I'm so mad. You just can't let me live. Can't let you live. I think actually reading more about it and seeing that the, this tiny pantsless boy got in before any This digits. tiny pantsless boy that apparently 43% of readers hate with a fiery passion. Because <laughs> giving something a one, that's not even like, eh. That's like, fuck this specifically. <laughs> Yeah, of the people who specifically read it. This means people who looked at the cover, 
said, this looks interesting, let me read it. They were so turned off from it, they were just like, one, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> it really is uh, something special. So yeah, that is coming to uh, Jambuti Heroes. <laughs> He's free. And you can read Yay. chapter one for free in Japanese. <laughs> so <laughs> you want to read it in Japanese? This thing that forty-three percent of people hate. Oh yeah, it's uh, everyone likes. Let's collect those chocolate dogs, is what he says. I cannot get over the fact that they basically. I was gonna actually say I think they actually did a really good job with his sprite because he doesn't look like any other character in. Uh, in the game, it actually looks super stylized to the point where I thought it was actually some like kind of weird like Sanrio character that they decided to do a collab with to put in. Um, but then it kind of gets ruined the second you realize that this little boy is not wearing any pants and there's a little dog <laughs> covering his penis. God damn it! Uh, uh. Oh my god! Wait a minute! I just realized. Okay, no, never mind. He's he's a gotcha character, but he's guaranteed in the gotcha you do it, so doesn't really count. Anyway, so that's... wait, he's a gotcha. He's you have to spend rubies on him, but he's guaranteed mm. when you get like if you pull once. No, okay, so Inamaru Kun can be used. So it's basically one of those like you collect the little dogs and then you pull on a banner featuring him. Oh, you just gotta... it's like an event gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I okay. Like, I, I haven't dealt with one of those. So I was like, wait. What? Oh my <laughs> god! You can see on in the banner art, you can see his fucking tiny little baby ass. I hate this. <laughs> Why is this in not just using my? I think that is going to end. No, you know what's actually great? If you look at his little sprite, his like art next to him looks like he's going Super Saiyan. Yeah, it does. He's like screaming and there's an aura around him and of course he again has no fucking pants on. No, that's how Frieza should have gone down. <laughs> <laughs> Goku showed up going Super Saiyan. Penis out. No one would want to fight him. Dick out. Completely, no one would deal with it. Thank God that there's going to be no way for me to monetize any of this now that we're talking about this. <laughs> but it's fine. I think it's finally good time <laughs> to get off of this segment. Thank you, everyone, and join us uh, next video as we once again, hopefully, <laughs> do this brand new series. <laughs> uh, fucking kill me. Called When Are We Getting Jujutsu Kaisen or the alternate title, Fucking Kill Me, <laughs> quote Senra. <laughs> Ooh. All right then, Zen, let's get into some of the other characters coming for the celebration. It's not all not Jujutsu Kaisen characters. Actually, some of them make sense. <laughs> let's go into the free characters first, because they're the easiest ones to kind of figure out. We've got... Oh man, this one's really great, because it's really funny, because it's the return of the giant boulder. That's right. Uh, the trial of the immovable boulder, you can get Makomo from uh, Demon Slayer, which is the girl fox who's with the boy fox, Salpido. Yeah, the girl fox who I don't think actually draws her sword on panel. Never. F I think you only see her get murked. <laughs> I think you see her You see her get murdered, and then you see her watch Tanjiro and Sabito fight. Yeah, so you never. she never fights once. But she's going to be made into a character that you can get here. I'm sure they'll figure out something. My hope is that you actually, her ult animation is just, she just summons the rock and watches the enemy and you get, like, buffs. It's it's probably going to be the same thing that it is in the Demon Slayer video game, because she's, for some reason, a playable fighter in that as well. Wait, really? She made the cut? Yeah, she's in that, because there's, like, nine. So that character's cast, that game's cast is hilarious, because it's, like, Tanjiro three times, everybody else from the main cast, like, twice. And then whoever else, like uh, the old man who teaches Tanjiro how to use the sword is in it as a playable character. <laughs> also would never that, fights anybody. Would, uh, but at that point, isn't that just a redundancy? Because isn't he just Tanjiro and Giyu? Yes. There's, there's Tanjiro, Giyu, the old man, Sabito, and the girl fox all using like water style moves. Really taking an advantage here from Ryu. Yeah, and Tanjiro... Characters. Tanjiro has Water Tanjiro, Hinokami Kagura Tanjiro, and uh, Alternate Universe School Universe Tanjiro. Oh, yeah, that's right. Man, 
All right. Well, she's coming here, so she chances I will have a, a special exactly the same. I just like that the giant boulder is back. As I've said before, when Sabido came in here, the giant boulder is maybe one of my favorite parts of Demon Slayer. It is just a giant boulder. <laughs> and it's Tanjiro's greatest foe and also his greatest rival. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it took him two months to beat that boulder. He just like, no, it took was, him two years, didn't it? It took a long ass time because is isn't he like he has a full different head of hair? By yeah, he's got like time. longer hair and shit. Yeah, didn't yeah. even take him that long to beat Muzo. <laughs> no, it took him longer to beat the boulder. <laughs> <laughs> the boulder is the strongest. If he if he did not get past the boulder, then he would never have been able to be strong enough to beat everyone else. I actually wish that in the. Uh, I won't get into too much because this is technically the ending of Demon Slayer, and I guess there's some people who still just watch the anime, so if you don't know this, I won't get into too much specific. But at this specific ending, you know how where they are at the ending with all that thing, the wrap-up of everything? They should have figured mm-hmm. out a way to show the giant boulder. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, that would have uh, elevated the ending to a next level. <laughs> Never before seen. So yeah, she's coming here. And it makes sense because the limited unit is based off of basically the same school. They're all from the same school of teaching from the old man who taught a bunch of kids water stuff. Or how to dance to water. Something about sword techniques. Uh, water breathing. There you go. Water breathing. That's what it's called. So yeah. Not really the most... Uh, for a free Demon Slayer character, it makes sense. It's unfortunate that she has to join. There's a lot of actually super popular characters from Demon Slayers who are also free. So it's kind of like, ah, uh, yes. This makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I guess... It's just funny that they're like, well, we have to put another Demon Slayer Limited, which means we have to have a Demon Slayer Farmable in here somewhere. Uh, who the fuck have we not used? And the whole office was like, oh, God. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> was <laughs> ripping apart files. Everyone's got different volumes of Demon Slayer flicking through it, trying to find any character. Did we put in the ramen sale yet? <laughs> we... No, we're saving him for the for the anniversary. We told you. The, an- <laughs> the Aniv Limited. Tanjiro plus guy. Tanjiro buys ramen from that one time. <laughs> it's a Muso. It's not even a Limited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one guy still pushing for Baby Inosuke. Saying no, it's not time yet. <laughs> we need to. Give it. <laughs> we can't do it. It's technically farther into the manga than anything else. So yeah, they are in essence running out of a lot of the characters before the new arc starts. So I feel for them because they can't use it until that anime is a little bit further on. But it does mean. But that is they have to, is really. that the case? I don't think that's true. I think it's the case occasionally because at some point they stopped. You can totally tell there's a point where they had to stop because there are characters from further into the manga, but then there's points of, like, they don't add more characters of a certain type. Well, like, this Giyu Tanjiro Limited is from the final arc of the manga. Is it? It's, it's yeah, they fight Akaza together Oh, that's in right. the very that's final actually... arc, and that's, that's what this right. is from. Plus, remember, they put everyone from Golden Wind in way before the, the anime came out. That's why Jorno's in blue, mm. not in the pink. Yeah, you're right, actually. Hmm. That's, hmm. That does put a kibosh in a lot of the things I was wondering on this one. So, yeah, they could have definitely picked someone else, but I th- yeah, they should have probably picked someone else. <laughs> now that you brought it up to me, it's like, damn. But now at least all of those characters are out now, I guess. Maybe they'll save them for another time. You can't blow your load too much on Demon Slayers, then. We have to plan them out for the coming months. And wait for them. Which is what they're going to uh, do. That's so annoying. It is, but that's life now. Now let's get into some of the other uh, free characters now. Here's someone we have no ideas from, but he's from the manga Mr. Full Swing called Taiga Kotetsu. Shoutouts to the seven Mr. Full Swing fans. Exactly. Eating. You good. also got shit in here before uh, Jujutsu Kaisen? <laughs> yeah, after having only one character, I checked because I was going to originally add the um, the Mr. Full Swing characters into, uh, into the Jujutsu Kaisen segment, but I actually checked. They have one <laughs> character from Oh, <laughs> the character that they get is actually pretty good, though. It's true, but we're on the free-to-play one right now. With the... Oh, so he's bad. Well, he's free. 
He does look cool, okay. though. I kind of like the uh, the tiger motif he's got going. I assume that this is a manga about swinging baseballs. Or it looks swing... like a baseball manga, yeah. Yeah. So this kind of given that they're like... all in baseball uniforms. Exactly. Well, is it in a uniform? Because this guy looks like he just showed up for war. <laughs> He actually That's looks fair. like he actually kind of looks like Kiba's illegitimate. <laughs> the son. other ones are in baseball uniforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, this guy's a thunder unit. Kind of like the design of him, but we both don't know anything about Mister Full Swing. <laughs> other than yeah, I don't both, know. We we <laughs> I'm both sure agree it's good. That, seven fans of it. Yeah, we both agree that Mister Full Swing is a fantastic name. It is such a good name. Yeah. Imagine writing your manga and just hitting like the jackpot of names. <laughs> it's like, really good. You know when that guy made that name, he was like, "Oh fuck yeah!" <laughs> because no one will ever be confused what your manga is about. Some of the greatest sports manga are actually just this is obviously a sports manga. For example, Slam Dunk. Easy. It's a it's about basketball. It can't be about anything else. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I like the Prince of Tennis. It's literally like, hey, this is about a kid who's really fucking good at tennis. He's the Prince of Tennis. And then he we have the some fucking other... Prince. And then not to uh, Kuroko's Basketball. Is that what it's called? Or Kuroko's yeah. Basket? Yeah, might... Kuroko. Well, it's Kuroko no Basque, which they romanize either as either Kuroko's Basketball or the basketball that Kuroko plays. One of the two. That one sounds uh, I, pretty good. I much prefer it, Kuroko's basketball. The, cur- the the basketball that Kuroko plays sounds like a Batman villain. Similar it does. To... It's, it's too long. <laughs> Similar to the Batman who laughs comes the, <laughs> comes the basketball that Kuroko plays. <laughs> Imagine like he opens up an alternate dimension and fucking Kuroko is there ready to fucking slam dunk on top of Batman. <laughs> ready to ball out on Batman. Exactly full baller batman has no response he can't he's too rich he's never played basketball before <laughs> he's never had to play he doesn't know the rules <laughs> my parents never taught me <laughs> <laughs> so he gets completely fucking schooled not enough prep time would it be able for him to finally get to uh, I, I don't know man kuroko's whole thing is that he's not very good at basketball <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually the world's shittiest basketball game so basically the way it works is that he He's, like, not good at conventional basketball, but he's a, a passing specialist who's uh, really, really good at misdirection. So, basically, oh. he's invisible on the court because he can make, like, distract people and get away from them. So, right. he's, like, ridiculously good at passing. And he learns how to do other things later on that make him more conventionally good. But he is That's certainly not the ones doing all the dunks and shit. That's funny because Slam Dunk, it starts as... Um... The only reason he plays, the only reason the basketball team wants him is that he can do a really good slam dunk because he doesn't know shit about basketball. So to impress a girl, he goes for a slam dunk and he jumps so fucking high in the air. The girl's impressed, but then he fucking like uh, eats shit because he, he <laughs> overdudged, he overdid it, he overdid it. <clears throat> and so he ends up picking up basketball to try and impre- impress her and actually learn the game. But for, I think, a good 50 chapters, all he can really do is slam dunk. <laughs> he doesn't know how to shoot. He doesn't know how to pass. He doesn't know how to do anything else. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. I think Batman probably would eventually be able to. But at the, at the start, he would be extremely flabbergasted by his uh, bizarre play style. <laughs> all right. Mr. Full Swing. Let's go on to the other free character, because I think this is... No, there's two more. Uh, we'll go for the Madaka Box guy, because his name is Munakata. And he's free, and he looks like a character who would actually be a gotcha character. Is that blue blue hair? Yeah, it's blue hair boy. Yeah, he definitely looks like a character that would normally be a gotcha character. Yeah, I think... He's very anime. That he's that That is an anime boy. boy right there. He is maybe perhaps the most anime of boys. Blue hair. He's got the sort like the katana on his hip. That that boy is anime. <laughs> he actually looks like the love interest in uh, like a lady manga, where she's like, "I can make him better." He looks like. Uh, have you ever seen the um, the manga Love Hina? Uh, yeah, I actually own all the he, chapters. All he the looks manga. like uh, if there was if it was that, but gender flips. <laughs> <laughs> he, he would be one of the dudes. 
Yeah, he totally does look like the like the the, the male version of the girl with the sword. The sword girl. Mom. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> now that you fuck, I would totally Doesn't he look exactly <laughs> like that. Yeah, he does. Uh, that makes me kind of like him a little bit more because I really like her from <laughs> Love Hina. But yeah, he's uh, he's free. You can get. I should pro- at some point. I think uh, after we were talking about uh, Madoka Box because they actually got a character last time we did a video, right? They got one pretty recently. They're getting more. No, I don't think so. Did they? Really not. I forget how I ended up talking about Madaka Box, but a friend of mine ended up picking... We talked about it sometime. Didn't we um, talk about Madaka Box because it has, like, one of the most broken characters in all of anime and he sucks in this game? No, I didn't know that, but apparently now I do. Oh. Yeah, apparently there's some character. It's uh, Misogi Kumagawa or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's, like, basically can just change reality whenever he wants or some shit. I don't know. I've never read it, but someone told me that he can, like, manipulate reality. But he came out in 2018, so he fucking sucks in this game. Ooh, that's rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fucking uh, awful. A friend of mine ended up rereading it, and he said, like, this feels like a manga that you would actually really like, and I'm surprised you haven't read it. And I said, uh, yeah, actually, this does feel like a manga that I would read. It has a female protagonist. It looks like there's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of fan service. I, why didn't I read this? Yeah, they haven't gotten a character since 2018. Really? Yep. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Man, they came back from the dead just to fucking shit on you for not getting Jujutsu Kaisen. They really did. They were like, damn, we haven't given Madaka Box a character since 2018, but it's all we have other than Jujutsu Kaisen. And they were like, fuck it, put him in. (laughs) Put the sword boy in. So he's in and he's free. Okay, look for him. Look for your anime sword boy. It's going to be really funny if I do end up picking it. And then when I read, I'm like, oh, no, this guy, he did deserve to be a free character. (laughs) Once you actually know him, besides just the design of a character, then it ends up becoming like, oh, maybe it would. Maybe they were right to make him a free and not do gotcha. But regardless of that, it's time for the final free character because it's the I, I saved the showstopper here. It is Oh Rabbi, or AKA Robin from One Piece, in her uh, Wano disguise. So Wano Robin to best explain it. It's a real shame I explained to you what what's up with robin and everything off screen off screen so now you have to do it again (laughs) yeah i have to do it again so if the people don't know uh this is robin from wano when she has to put on a disguise and basically infiltrate wano because wano is closed off they don't allow anyone to go into wano it's like the final um version of what trump wanted for america but in a wano (laughs) and (laughs) so they have to (laughs) So they have to infiltrate. <laughs> NWGA and... was that Mug- Mugwa? Mugwa? Make Wano great again? <laughs> oh God! Please don't do this to me, Zed. <laughs> I am already <laughs> dealing with a lot of my feelings towards Wano. Now that it's not ending. <laughs> I've been waiting over a year for fucking Wano to end, and it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Don't>... one piece. <laughs> it really is. But yeah, this is her in her disguise. Um. Very good. There's another outfit from Wano that's very good, which I'm going to assume that they will use for either a gacha character or later. I'm actually really surprised that they've never done a limited Robin because a lot of people really like Robin. But it seems like most of the One Piece limiteds are Luffy. There's Yeah, Luffy has a fuck ton. Of, One Piece has like a crazy amount of limiteds, actually, I'm pretty sure. Hang on, I'm going to count them. I, think I remember it being, 70, it's like 17, right? 17. And Hang how on, many of them I'm, are I'm gonna. Movie? Okay, uh, one piece. Okay, so the limited is Gear Fourth Bound Man Luffy, mm-hmm. Gear Second Luffy, Gear Fourth Snake Man Luffy, Zoro Juro, uh, Trafalgar Law, Whitebeard, Shanks, Ace, Sabo, Boa Hancock, Dracula Mihawk, Kaido, Kazuki Odin, Princess Shirahoshi. Silver's Raleigh, Nightmare Luffy, and Fire Fist Ace and Straw Hat Luffy. So yeah. there is one, two, three, four, five of them are Luffy. That's if crazy. you count the duo. If you count the duo one, and that, that's a that's at least a half. We'll call Although them. I think, I think, um, 
If you count Vegito, I think Goku has more. Yes. Also, there are 17 here, but in Taiwan, they have the Sulong Carrot. So they have they somehow have more in the Taiwanese version of the game. Yeah, okay, I just looked it up. If you count Vegito as a Goku Limited, he has six. He's tied Jesus. with Luffy if you do not. That kind of makes sense, though. Um, you know, Dragon Ball, as much as I love it, a lot of the best moments are from Goku. He and... has Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Kaioken Goku, uh, Super Saiyan against Frieza Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku again, but this time with no shirt. Um... Goku and Vegeta duo, and then Super Vegito, if you count him. Did they ever do a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Limited? Nope. What? How does that Although make sense? Although Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball itself has less limited than One Piece. It only has 10 versus One Piece is 17. So what you're saying is that we need at least 7 more. Yes. The only limiteds for Dragon Ball that aren't Goku are Majin Vegeta, uh, Ultimate Gohan, Bardock, and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Why the oh, fuck the- is Bardock I was about to say, how the fuck did I'm about to be? How did Bardock get on this list? Let, let me drop the most controversial things of all. How the fuck did Bardock's Super Saiyan three Go Tanks and Majin Vegeta make it here before Super Saiyan two Gohan? There's there is a Super Saiyan two Gohan, and he came out in 2019. He's fucking terrible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, limited. Version. Yeah, that's. I don't. I don't know. There's a lot of cool. units that like. How are there not limited versions of them yet? This is like a. Different There's not image. a limited Boo, or um, Frieza. Or any, there, none of the Dragon Ball Limiteds are villains unless you really want to stretch to count Bardock. Well, oh, I yes, guess you yeah. could count Majin Vegeta as one. I would also count Bardock as a villain. Don't believe in revisionist history. Bardock was evil. <laughs> I'm standing by that. <laughs> Fuck Dokkan's logic, giving him a super. Fuck that. Giving Bardock's crew the hero fucking category when they are genocidal assholes. <laughs> yeah, they got killed mid-genocide. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're like, it's oh, like, oh the good guys. <laughs> The only reason Bardock turned good is that Bardock said, wait, I'm going to be genocided. And then he suddenly was like, genocide's bad, actually. God, fuck Bardock. (laughs) That's my final statement on that one. That's crazy. I definitely think that at some point they have to. Probably the people aren't asking for it. (laughs) I'm asking for it, though. I think Robin would definitely be cool. Maybe they could do a... um, they could just kill two birds and one stone and make it a Nami and Robin limited dual unit. That way you can get both of them out at the same time. Because if there was ever going to be a limited version of Nami, it would be with another One Piece character. Or when she has um, Zeus, which is actually the gotcha character in this celebration. So they can't do that version. But yeah, this Robin. I really like this Robin. I like the outfit of it. I am like that she's free because the second I saw her, I said, fuck, I'm actually going to have to summon <laughs> And then someone said, no, she's free. And I said, oh, fucking thank you so much, Jampudi, for <laughs> for being so generous with your free characters. They really, really are. Speaking yeah. of generous, this is off topic, but Jesus, the, the sheer volume of tickets that we have gotten lately. Oh, yeah, it's been insane, actually. In 30 minutes, we were about to get more tickets. Are we really? Yeah, because it's, it's daily until New Year's happens. And it's Holy always at fuck. that time at... So there's two sets of tickets. There's tickets that you get from the event beating it. And then there are daily tickets that when you log in, you get tickets where you can potentially get limited characters on it. It's it's really fucking insane. And then if you actually go into the website and you click the button, you get even more tickets. It's it's crazy how much we get. And it's not even New Year's yet. And I bet we'll get even more for New Year's. Man. Yeah, it's it's nice to play Jinpudi. As much as I like to complain about certain aspects of it, such as their choices in Limiteds. Yeah, the, I don't really get those myself, but... No, it is very It is generous. what it is, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. So you just kind of take the... You take the good, you take the bad, you take the sun, and you take the moon. Put it all up. Rada, rada, rada. And now let's go on to the actual gacha characters. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We'll start with the characters we know least about, which is mm, starting with Madaka Box. I have no idea how to pronounce I think I pronounce it wrong every single time because of the way it's spelled. Is is that, uh, Najimi Ajimu? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. AKA white-haired girl. White-haired girl. Yep. Mm -hmm. For those of you to to explain white-haired girl, uh, neither of us know Madaka Box at all. Yeah. And when I was translating these in good old Google Translate to organize them so that we could read them, 
I was labeling them by name, realized I do not know her name, and then I was like, well, it's the girl with the white hair. <laughs> yep. And I decided uh, okay. to actually find the name because if because we, did we probably it, shouldn't call her white haired girl on our show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just a little bit more professionalism. Not a lot, but enough. Go ahead. Explain to us what she does then. All right. She does uh, ultimate attack. 400% attack on a single enemy. Poisons for 225 attack for one turn. Also gives a 2,500 bleed with an additional 20,000 when connecting one or more, or connecting, I'm sorry, two or more of the same color orb uh, for two turns. So she gives poison and bleed. Pretty good. Uh, Buddy skill converts an orb to an ultimate orb. Three random orbs to rainbow. Increase the attack of all DPS class allies by 21% for three turns. And reduce the attack of all enemies by 21% for two turns, which is I think is pretty good also. Yeah. And then her passive is just uh, reduce the amount of time that you are weakened by two turns and increase her attack by 19%. So she's like an anti-weakening unit. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, definitely, I really like the bleed part because as someone who's kind of at this point pretty invested in bleed, having more ways to bleed would be nice. Especially on yeah, the bleed has gotten so much love lately. Yeah, it's kind of insane that we went from bleed being kind of new when I think Kanikuman was. Kanikuman was the very first unit that got it. Yeah, and yeah, everyone was like, "Well, this will probably be good eventually when it, you can actually like buff it." And then they were like, "Bet here's a million things." Yeah, and there have been a lot of characters that just like either buff bleed or apply bleed or deal more. Yeah, damage there's when God. Bleeding. There's like three bleed weakeners now, right? Yeah, there's Ichigo's point. dad, there's the world trigger guy, and uh, Mayuri also does it. Yes, all of them. By the way, that. if you pl- if you use bleed, Mayuri's fucking crazy. He's so good. Really? He, he, he weakens bleed, so he increases the amount of damage they take from bleeding by like 22%. And then he also heals you for 63,000 over two turns in yes. the tower. Yes, that's right, because I use him. I think when I yes. was doing summoning, I ended up getting him a bunch of times. I forget who I was going for. He was, I think, divided with Dogman. I actually don't remember. Either way, I have a whole bunch of him. Yeah, he came actually... out. He came out with the Dogman. Yeah. So it works a whole bunch with my team, especially because it has so much healing. There's actually been a good mixture of dudes who bleed and then dudes who heal like crazy because the new limited sensei, uh, Karisu, does a lot of bleeding, and she also, if you use as a buddy, does a lot of healing. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. Um. But yeah, I kind of want her for that bleed stuff. It's a shame that she has to be on the same time as Nami, who is Nami. Do <laughs> you have to have by just principle? Yeah, it's well, yeah, you they're know. they're both not limited. They might share a banner. Have you seen the banners yet? I think yeah, I think on the on the live stream they showed the banner. I think they're gonna start with all three of them on it, and then later on, each character will have their own banner where they will be the I guess guaranteed at the end of the step. So maybe if I want to risk it all, the problem is, is if I risk it all, I'm just going to get the Mr. Full Swing character like seven times. That's my fear, is that I'll just get the dude. There's two women, two out of two out of three chance of getting one woman. I will only get the man. That's what I feel like my luck will boil down to. But that's yeah. fair. Yeah, that's that's what happened to me with the uh, the dog guy. Because I wanted, I, I have every Bleach character now, but I didn't at first because they were the two gotchas with the, with Mayuri and the Dog Man, mm-hmm. and I was like, all right, I just need one copy of the Dog Man. I pulled Mayuri like seven times, yeah, and then I finally got the Dog Man at the end. It's a hell of a thing. The other one I think was it the bald guy from Gintama. I think I ended up getting him enough to make him eight. I forget who he shared. Yes, the banner with. that one too. He shared the banner with the Demon Slayer sister, the Shinobu's sister that gets eaten. Yep, that's and who I wanted. Uh, with Ichigo's dad. That's who I wanted. I wanted the Demon Slayer sister, and I got the bald man over and over and over again. <laughs> At some point, Umabozu. Yeah, I, really I got should've... him and the other one just so many times. Man, it's it's rough a little bit. So I'll see what I'll do. I'll see how much uh, rupees I have because there's a lot to be saving up for a little bit later. But at least she seems pretty solid, which is why I also want her, especially with the want the the going for bleed stuff. Very useful. Mm, let's go on to Mikado Ushio, who is the other guy from Mister Full Swing. All right. 
see, Mikada. Uh, okay, 450% attack power to a single enemy, 50% more if the enemy is a DPS class, that's 500%. Uh, gives Cyclone to all enemies for two turns, so it's 12,000 base power, and then per orb connected, when you connect orbs of the same color, you do 700% more, or not 700%, holy shit, that would be crazy, <laughs> be 700 brutal. more per orb. Uh, passive is convert 10 heart, so this one I couldn't get exactly, because Google Translate's a bitch. It says convert 10 heart bubbles to line orbs? Don't know what that means. Um, I don't know if that's a color. I don't know if Japanese translates like a is color it, very it, close to the word line. Is it those little, um, you know, when they make the big one? That's a lot to do 10, though. 10 yeah, of those? It's fair. I feel like it's probably the same orbs of whatever color he is. I don't actually know what color he is when I translated it. I think uh, he green, is a it looks green. like. He is a green. Okay, so it might be green. Uh, and also recover 2,000 HP or 60,000 HP in the tower. For two turns, heart orbs will no longer spawn, and for one turn, reduce the damage received by green by 19, 1,900 or 30,000 in the tower. Hmm. Interesting. Not too bad. Yeah. I, I think, think he, he's decent-ish. Yeah. I, I, he's like a decent tower support. It's not someone I would go crazy to get, but mm -hmm. he's, he's pretty good in my opinion. Probably will be a little bit better in the PvE. Part yeah, but his his uh, I don't know Jack about that, so I can only speak to PvP really. Yeah, but his passive reminds me of um a shittier version of limited units without the ability to make a loon line uh, to make a skill orb. Yeah, well, it's just like limited Yuna. You know, if you run healing with her, like a healing passive on her, plus she has that natural innate resistance, so she has like built-in damage resistance, mm -hmm. which is basically the same thing as a heal. Yes. Um, reminds me a little bit of that. But if he made a skill orb and he did those two things, I would think he was crazy good for PvP. But with his passive as it is, it's okay. Yeah. You know. For PvP, it sounds like he's probably going to be more useful in something like PvE for sure. That's what I assume. If any character doesn't seem that great for PvP, they're going to be amazing in PvE. Probably good in PvE. Yeah, that's yeah. usually how it goes. It's usually how it goes for sure. Yep. There you go. So if you're a big fan, all the seven fans of Mr. Full Swing eating good. Yeah, did, did you officially got, what, 300% more units than you had earlier? <laughs> easily, easily. Now, let's talk about, finally, the true showstopper for this uh, segment before we get into the limited, which is the sh <laughs> the show ender, because we're going to talk about something else. Um, Onami, who is Nami Onami. in disguise. 460% attack to one enemy. If they are special class, 40% more. For two turns, the electric shock, uh, deal electric shock to 13,000 of all enemies. That's the same thing that like Killua puts on. Uh, and then during shock, each additional orb is 550 more damage. When you, like, shock works like Cyclone, basically. Yeah. Uh, one orb, for, this is her buddy skill now, one orb goes to an ult orb with the ex explosive range increased by one, so it's a little bit bigger than normal. Convert five orbs to rainbow orbs, and for two turns, do poison weakening. I don't know if there are other poison weakeners in the game. Hmm. I, do you know of any? I don't. Not really. I can check real quick. But so yeah, she she gives a, an ult, five rainbow orbs, and she reduces poison weakening, or she does poison weakening by thirty percent. So a poison attack on her turn will do thirty percent more damage. Poison, though, I also don't know of any strong attacking limiteds that use poison. Yeah, let me see. I can look here. Look up like Shinobu poisons, uh, Mayuri poisons, poison. The new girl, the new girl poisons, the one from Madaka Box. Yeah, let me see. Uh, let's see what we got here. Characters that inflict poison. No, this kind of damage reduction. I need actual poisoning skills. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say Majin Vegeta does poisoning. What? Inflict 308% of attack power damage on a single enemy. Consume 5% of HP. Increase the damage default of blue type special moves by one. Wait, why? how does he do poison? He doesn't do poison at all. None yeah, of his stuff is poison related. Yeah, that's that's strange. Maybe, maybe if poison is being translated weirdly on Google Translate. Is what I maybe... Up. Hmm. All right, let me. I don't know of any limiteds that do poison. I'll say that much. Um, 
Limiteds do like everything but poison, basically, as far as I'm aware. I'm scrolling through, looking Mayuri at him. Yuri does poison. Yeah, but he's not a limited. He's just no, a he's guy. Not. He's just a guy. But he does do poison. It's kind of your best shot here. Uh, does Jiraiya poison? I don't think Jiraiya would poison, right? Okay. No, he does not. He sure doesn't. I thought no. we had a shot. We had a real shot with a ninja. <laughs> but unfortunately, no. No, he doesn't. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe none of the... these One Piece fuckers look like they would do poison. There is one, Magellan. He's what? literally made of poison. In One Piece? Yeah, his his devil fruit. Oh, is but yeah, like... he's not a limited though. No, he's not a limited. He just does poison. I mean, you can run it obviously on a not limited, and it and still be okay. But I just feel like limiteds always have the better multipliers on their alts and stuff. No, it's true. That's true. Um, either way. That's yeah, that's Nami. I Zen, this is gonna be a controversial stake for me to say, but I really like Nami. So shocking. Shocking, I know. So the fact that they've added Nami in what is probably the only outfit of hers that has um uh a top on that is post time skip, because I think most of them is usually her in a bikini. Not that I uh don't like that it's just sometimes sometimes you just need a little bit more mystery you know what i'm saying zen totally <laughs> yeah 100 <laughs> percent. and this is a fantastic outfit so of course i would like it i really do like that your foodie does not in any way shape or form um care that their chibi characters have gigantic busts <laughs> and they will try and be as accurate to them as possible yeah okay it's funny because in this case it's about giant boobies, but it's actually really impressive to me how hard um, Shampoodie works or Jump G or whatever. I don't fucking care. Go ahead. Works to properly convey the art style of the series. It does. It's fantastic. I think that's what makes them. Look, that's what look they- at like Jotaro versus Kaiba versus like Saint Seiya. Those sprites clearly look like they're from different things. Yeah, and we shit it on the little boy with no pants, but he fucking looks different from every other yeah, character. Yeah, he's also completely like artistically unique. Yeah, it's I think they do a fantastic job with that. I think that's what really drives the collection aspect of it too, where it's like, yeah, if Nami did something fantastic, which it sounds like to me she's pretty solid. Except I think she's the, pretty good, yeah. Yeah, but the important part here is that she just looks great and the sprite looks amazing, and I just kind of want to use them, and then their ults are usually pretty fun to look at too. So it's a full package deal. I swear to God, they put more work into the non-limited alt animations than they do the limited ones. It sometimes feels that way, right? Like, like, have you seen the animation for the new limited uh, ultimate attack? Uh, let me. I, I, funny enough, I retweeted the tweet, but I don't think I actually looked at it. Hey, I'll grab it for you. If you don't have it, I can get it right here. Personally, don't think it's that good. Really? It, does it have to do with the fact that it is two Demon Slayer boys kind of just slash? No, swords? no. Well, sort of. But like, you know how normally when a Demon Slayer character ults, they get like the big Rengoku pillar or like Tanjiro gets the fire dragon? No. Nah. It's just like a blue background and they they swing their swords. It almost looks like it's them both doing their normal attack animations like on loop. It just looks weird to me. Yeah, it actually does look a little bit funky compared yeah, to Yeah, it, it looks do. like they're just doing whatever their normal attack. Like, because, you know, every sprite has a little, like, eh, like a normal attack where they just swing yeah. their sword once. It just looks like they're doing that over and over again. And then yeah. you have, like, some random non limited, like, uh, Naruto. It's just a farmable where he busts out this giant Rasen shuriken. Yeah, funny enough, it does end up being like that a whole bunch. Yeah, this one might be a case of just like, I don't know why they didn't do double water dragon. There's definitely cool. That's the one thing that's a bummer about the fact that they don't actually do any of the water stuff is that a lot of the water stuff looks fucking rad. So it actually feels like a waste. Like, I feel like a better way to do this alt would have been instead of having them both slashing at the same time, because I guess that was too complex or something. uh, Just have it shift between each of them. Like Tanjiro hits them and then they get knocked back into Gyu or something, you know? Yeah. Could be a little, especially compared to a lot. It's not, it's not even a fault of the dual units. Cause we've had a lot of dual units whose alt animation looked rad. <laughs> and they're not even from like the same series. So they had to actually come up with something for them to do together. 
this at least has the ability to like especially because it's like the, the final arc issue maybe it's one of those things of like maybe they didn't want to go to him because they didn't want to show a move from it i don't know it is weird it is weird that it does feel like it they at least from what i've seen here there was not as much effort put into it as some of the other not limited dudes yeah maybe weird. but yeah uh, I'm sure this Nami will have... I think on her little art, she has Zeus next to him, which is the little um, the little homie that betrays Big Mom. Have I explained this to you, that Big Mom has homies? Uh, actually, yes. I think once you have. Okay, good. Uh, Zeus is a homie of, um, of Big Mom. He's the cloud. And at some point, Nami... Um, I forget, she gives him... She she gives him something that a cloud would really like because she took all her training in weather. She was up in the clouds being taught by like wizard men for two years. So she has a lot. Of, I guess she's really good with uh, cloud stuff. So she was able to get the cloud to join her side. And then later on, Zeus joins back up with Big Mom. And then there's a moment where the cloud has to make a decision between joining up with Nami or betraying Big Mom. And then he ends up going with Nami. And then now she just has what is in essence a, what's the best way of putting it? Like this, it's like a little cloud with like a happy face, but it's on the equivalent of like borderline a nuke. It's extremely powerful. <laughs> so they gave Nami what was in essence one of the strongest weapons out there. I actually don't know if he's still that strong because I think he maybe got a little bit weaker after Big Mom shenanigans, but um if i'm right he should be super powerful that's why in my mind i thought like that would probably be the best chance of nami Gemin getting eliminated but i actually just realized there's another more powerful move she has that would be limited worthy i actually don't know if they would ever do it though i don't know they have the little boy with no pants so maybe they can do Nami's yeah at hat. this point they can do anything yeah they got a little boy with no pants and so what i'm saying here zen is that they should add in uh nami's happiness punch which is the move she does where she takes off her clothes and knocks out any dude in, gen in the general area. <laughs> which she does on two occasions. She does it once in Wano and she does it once at the end of the Alabasta arc. Um, where it complete That's the one where it came up with that great question where someone asked Oda... Oda, uh, you, I, I know you write Luffy as if he does... Like when uh, Luffy saw um, Boa naked, he had no reaction... But then when he saw Nami naked, he got completely knocked out. What the fuck? What is up with this uh, plot hole that you've created? <laughs> and Oda had a very good explanation, which was um, <laughs> Luffy didn't actually care about what he was seeing. What he cared is Luffy is more kind of like a child. So Usopp really cared about it. And a lot of the other characters kind of cared about it. So he just went along with them. So that when it happened, he basically had like a like a shared reaction of like, oh shit, this is the good stuff. Let's go. <laughs> Which makes Luffy a very much of like a, a person of like, if when he's by himself and there's no one actually there to go to Mon, then he's kind of just like, ugh. Naked boobies. No, no care. Who cares? Where's Not food? interested in this. <laughs> Not interested in this woman. What is it? The the ultimate grind set? <laughs> That's what Luffy is when he's by himself. Doesn't the care Sigma grind is. set. But only when he's by himself, he's in the full Sigma grad set, doesn't care about these women, get away from me. But, he, but, he, but, he, but when he's with the boys and he's all for it. So yeah, now that they have the naked boy, I think they could go full on and get naked women in here. Because it is, is a very funny technique, especially when they did it in Wano. It's funnier in Wano because she does it like, she knocks out like an entire group of dudes. <laughs> It's like, we really need to get out of this extremely terrible situation that we set up. And then Nami's basically like, I fucking got it. And she knocks out everyone in there, including Sanji, who was invisible at the time. That's funny as hell. Yeah, it is. So there you go. Onami, definitely going to get. I'm going to see if I kind of want to get Onami or Najima. So maybe I'll take the risk and maybe get seven copies of Mr. Full Swing here. Well, I think there probably is going to be a banner that's only them, right? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Actually, no. Offers first single, uh, no, no, 500 rupees, 750 rupees free, and then 1,000 rupees guaranteed five new hero, and then the fifth multi is guaranteed five new hero. So, But I um, think on their own versions. Is um, it like this? 
I, I don't know exactly what it is. I just know that um, there is, like, what am I trying to say? So remember when Ichigo's dad and the bald guy and the Demon Slayer girl came out and they were all on the same banner together? There was also banners of them that um, was the same, basically. Like, mm -hmm. each one got their own. So it was the same banner structure, but it only had one of them on it. Yeah, so, like, if you wanted all three, you could just pull on the one that had all three and get whoever you wanted. But if you wanted a specific one, you could pull on the specific banner, and on the fifth multi, you would get that unit. Might just do that, then. Yeah, so, like, if you're after Nami, you might as well just wait. Yeah, that might be the right course of action. There might be some... I'll, th I'll think about it. I'll see what we got. Because I don't think I'm going to be pulling for the limited, and I think it's finally time for us to talk about the limited after making vague jabs at them throughout the entire <laughs> episode <laughs> after basically subtweeting them for the entirety of this video let's talk about the limited who is from demon slayer it is uh tanjiro and giyu the tanjiro and giyu duo unit tanjiro now has five units uh which is a lot he has two duo units. I think he's the only character to have two other than Naruto, or not Naruto, uh, Luffy and Goku, which doesn't really count because they got the freebie crossover one. Sure. So I, um, I think he is now the only character to be on two different duos from his own universe, at least. It is true. Here's the thing. They should have never um, advertised this as the duo unit that you've been waiting for. Yeah, amazing. they really were like the iconic duo unit. And everyone was like, oh, oh, this this one fight they did this one time. The funny thing is, is that when I think of Tanjiro in a duo unit, it's not with Kiyu. It's with Nezuko and they already have that version. Yeah. <laughs> like I would have. Well, really again, him and Giyu only fight together one time in the very last arc of the series. And to be fair, the fight's cool, but it's not like. Oh my yes. god, this is the mo one of the most iconic moments in Jump history. No, at least wait till the anime comes out, and then all the people will tell you, Zen, that it's the, the most iconic duel fight in the <laughs> history of anime ever put together. Oh, uh, it's just like, what the fuck, man? Talk about disappointment. It's fine, it's a cool fight, and like, I like these characters. Yeah, that's the thing, is that it's we're just not like, coming... The way they build it was like, oh, this is the coolest fucking shit ever. And I was yeah. like, man, this sucks. Yeah, it's kind of not shouldn't have been this and especially because some of the things that people were leading up to the funnier thing was that on the lead up people noticed that the people who were guests are from the haiku um uh stage play so everyone was saying like oh shit the new limited might be from haiku and when i asked someone i said is there anyone from haiku that would be worthy of a dual unit that is not already the dual unit that's in the game and they said i don't really think so i think if you were going to do the most anticipated hype one of them it would be those two characters together it'd be hanada and the other guy but that already exists so it didn't make sense there and then it ended up being revealed and it was like i don't know just like in terms of when i think of actually hype two dudes together i don't think they are worthy of that moniker still cool for sure yeah but... very cool just uh, very oversold yeah easily oversold oh my god this was like it made it, it, this is the problem of like trying to hype something and knowing for a fact that demon slayer sells so they were just like okay it's gonna be obvious that people will like it regardless so we can hype it up really heavy but it's not like it's actually the most hype um duo you could make from demon slayer because i still think there would be they should have just fucking done a tanjiro and um inosuke and then called it inosuke and gazpacho like they should have. <laughs> that would actually be so funny and it was that would have been amazing because then they could have it somewhere like every single time the name changes where it's not tanjiro at all I that's mean, that actually be... amazing i would pull for that unit no questions asked just to be part of the meme exactly like i think there's funnier ways to kind of do dual units or more interesting pair ups from demon slayer besides these two even if it is from the last arc like i couldn't even when i was thinking of dual units this pairing didn't even come into my head because <laughs> i don't really think of them as 
dudes who team up, I think of them as single fighters who kind of just go together. It's different from yeah. like Vegeta and Goku who are also single fighters, but when they do team up, it's treated as like a big thing in the manga. Yeah, like a major moment for the for the characters. Exactly, and I don't really feel that from these two. So I think it's a, pro- a really big problem of marketing, and I also think it's a little bit of a um, fatigue of being like starting the new year off with a Demon Slayer character when we already know that Uzui is getting unlimited because he's getting the most flashiest event in like two months. Yeah, it's just like, I don't have anything against Demon Slayer, but they're really milking it like hard. Yeah, and I really also again, hard. really like Demon Slayer. Really like it a whole bunch. Like, if it's the right Demon Slayer characters, like I said, like if they had made a, like if they ever make a limited and Oisuke or Shinobu or any of the characters that I actively like, fucking the love pillar sure let's do it i would gladly summon and i wouldn't complain but it's this specific pairing after being called the greatest pairing in the world just doesn't do it for me yeah like this is going to be demon slayer's eighth limited and you know they're getting nine because uzui is going to get one yeah so it's it, like fuck man yeah it's that's uh, a lot it that's is more than bleach has bleach only has seven it's true and funny enough it wasn't. It didn't really dawn on me until someone brought it up, but the the Bleach celebration actually didn't have a, that many Bleach characters for how long it was. No, it didn't. It had what Rukia, Kempachi, Mayuri, um, and Dogman. Yeah, and Dog. And then like the farmable bad guys that nobody really gives a shit about because they yeah. were just bad guys from the last arc. Exactly. Except for of course, oh, Unohana. Was Unohana was a cool one to get. Yeah, Unohana was cool. And uh, Giselle, who I will now properly say she, was really <laughs> cool. <laughs> so forgive me, the one Bleach fan who got on my case about that. I didn't know. It's also <laughs> it's also funny um, because Ichigo's mom and dad that came out are technically part of that arc, but they came out before the celebration. Yeah, it's really So the Bleach celebration about. only had one, two... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters, and only four of them were gacha. Yeah. And like the way it was paced was really weird because Rukia was up for two weeks before Kenpachi came out. Yeah, it was very weird. Kenpachi felt like an afterthought when he was released. Yeah, and it was weird because Kenpachi was supposed to counter Unohana, but Unohana's event came out day one. Yeah, and Kenpachi didn't come out until 15 days later. Kind of feels like they didn't have enough Bleach characters prepared. I actually think they had maybe had more of the My Hero and World Trigger dudes for that like combination event. I think there was probably more of both of them than what Bleach got. It really felt like there was. Yeah, like I thought for sure we would get like a true Shikai or a true Bankai Ichigo with like his alternate swords and stuff. And we really didn't get much of anything. Yeah, it was a little bit weird. So I think there's just a little bit of a messed up. Maybe. The producer was just asking too much for all the Black Clover stuff, and that completely screwed up uh-huh. everything. <laughs> I need more <Yeah>. Black Clover. <laughs> Drop everything you got. Drop this bleach crap, whatever you're reading, this bleach Drop mid-ish. this shit. Where's Black Clover? <laughs> I would really like the idea. I don't, not to make fun of the producer too much, but I really do like the idea of a producer coming into the office fully angry and said, what are you, wor- stop working on this mid. <laughs> <laughs> Drop this mid. Where's Black Clover? (laughs) Get with the true hype. This is where it's at. That same guy says, (laughs) put in Ichiwutura. The little boy with no pants. I love him. I love his style. (laughs) I'm all about this kid. So yeah, I think it's just really weird. Let's actually get into what the unit does now. Now that we've kind of given our feelings on it. Feelings on them in general. Tell us what they actually do. All right, what they do. What the dog doing? I gotta scroll to my translation. There it is. So they do 130% HP as damage, recover 2,000 HP when attacked, or 15,000 in the tower. For five turns, increase the damage done by their own ultimate attack and also the ultimate attack of blue allies. I don't know if that double stacks for them or not. I assume it does. Because it, mm. sa- it says, it doesn't specify allies, it just says uh, increase own ultimate attack and blue ultimate attack, and they are blue. So I assume they would get the buff to themselves and also the buff to blue. It sounds like that would be likely. 
Yeah, so it's ten percent. Each buff is ten percent, so they will get twenty percent because they are themselves and blue. Mm -hmm. uh, buddy skill for two turns: reduce bubbles needed for the buddy to make an ultimate by one. Damage received by the buddy is reduced by eight thousand or twenty-five thousand in the tower. And for four turns, all damage dealt by the buddy's ultimate is increased by thirty-eight percent and sixteen percent. So that's kind of like a uh, Bobo Patch Nosuke, but also with additional benefits and slightly <laughs> less power mm, okay. um yeah it's, it's that kind of one and then it's passive on the first and seventh turn all heart bubbles become rainbow sort of like what ace and luffy do mm -hmm. on the first and seventh turn their normal attack damage is increased by 150 percent so they Christ. do increase normal attack damage and then on the first and seventh turn they get plus one tap on the 13th turn they get plus two taps is that a uh, reference to how long it feels like that final arc is? <laughs> how long it takes? <laughs> <laughs> you get to the 13th turn and it's like, oh, there's more. All right, just there's go again. There's still more. All right, <laughs> keep, keep going. Just keep tapping. Oh, God. <laughs> keep going. God, that arc really did drag. It's weird because I feel like it probably wouldn't drag now if I read through it. But at the time, it really did drag. That's I think that's the, the problem with reading a um, a finishing fight that is like a couple pages every week it really makes it feel way longer but when you're reading it w without that context it's like oh this is going by fucking breezy yeah Not weekly definitely has like because you're reading it in real time so you're like wow this fight started in may and it's september <laughs> yeah but then I, you realize that's like you know 25 chapters yes exactly i think a lot of the um uh end chapters of slam dunk are a lot of basketball playing with no um dialogue at all so it's just like basketball being played and it's like showing the shot that showing the clock of how much time they have left and then like the chapter ends and then you if you're reading it obviously if you were reading it back then you're just kind of going like that's fucking it it's annoying <laughs> one second on the fucking clock that's all i got this week and then next week it's another second off the clock but if you're reading it in real time then it kind of goes much cooler but obviously like yeah, at the time it was dragging on, man. It was it was a hell of an experience. Yeah, that sounds miserable. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, so yeah, Tangi, I think that they they kind of feel like a Luffy and Ace if you didn't want defense and you just wanted all attack. Yeah, basically. Um I think that they're not too bad. I, I like well, okay, I'm saying not too bad. They're they're really good, obviously. Um, I think that there's some merit to using them over Ace and Luffy in PvP because of that increased normal attack damage. So, like, that buff feels purely for... when Because you in the first turn of PvP, traditionally you don't ultimate often. Yeah. Um, Very So rarely. you get that bonus damage from... Uh, Ulting? On that normal attack. So you, you're getting a nice, solid hit even when you're not ulting. Yes. Um, but also their passive is pretty good so it's like or I'm sorry not their passive their uh, buddy skill so it's like do you run them on point instead of ace and luffy to get that, that little bit of additional damage benefit or do you run their buddy skill and get all the buffs from it yeah. they're, they're a good unit good unit like you said, they're like a. They are similarly built to uh, Bubble Patch and Oske, but not as buff heavy. Because I think yeah, he, the, the buff is not as potent, but the uh, there's more additional effects. There's like yeah, the damage reduction and stuff. The, the buff that Bubble Patch and Oske gives is insane. <laughs> it's actively kind of crazy how much he gives. It is what is it? Yeah, it is a lot. Twenty percent, and then converts six rainbow. Uh, random bubbles to random. Uh, that sounds right. Hang on, I have the website up. Let me pull him up real quick. I think you're right, though. Or at least close. Yeah, he's definitely one of the better... Six uh, randoms to rainbow, and then 45 and 20. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's insane. <laughs> that yeah, for a support, a lot. That's crazy. He does the work of a lot of other supports in one easily. He could probably technically be two supports in one. So actually, if you put both of these dudes together, they would actually create a lot of support on turn one yeah i run boba patch in pvp just all the fucking time all the time yeah, i wish i had him 
Man, so cool. So angry to me that um, I'm not able to have the only person that probably in the North American side, anyone who plays, who's, who um, talks English and plays Jumpudi Heroes, who likes Bobo Bo, and I don't have Bobo Pachinoske. Actually, I take that back. My brother also really likes Bobo Pachinoske. So there's two of us, and both of us don't have him. Damn, that sucks. Where's the justice? It's not fair. There's. You, you'll get him when Jujutsu Kaisen comes out. Okay, so in five months, because that's when my ticket is ready, and I'll be able to <laughs> redeem it. <laughs> oh, you'll be able to pick him? <laughs> We're going to join the new segment saying who's going to get who's gonna get it first. You, you're going to get one Jujutsu Kaisen character if I'm going to be able to wait five months to get my Bobo Patch in Usuke. We'll see who wins first. Because <laughs> the anniversary is in uh, April, so. Yeah. That's- the best shot that's the ultimate copium that everyone's on now is that obviously that's that's no it's just day. it's just gonna be tanjiro and like the corpses of his dead family are gonna be the limited for that are you kidding me that's hype i'd love that <laughs> <laughs> muso grade i'm here for it yeah the the, the muso for the end of is just gonna be tanjiro and the I corpses want, of his family i want the ultimate dual unit i want uh dying of dysentery Tanjiro father dancing in front of kid Tanjiro. That's what <laughs> that's what I want. Him doing the fireman dance. That's what I want as a deal unit. That's so good. I'm about that. I'm about that for sure. It's about that for sure. How many so, yeah, more they're... do tickets do I need before mine is ready? I'm gonna you check that now. Closer to me. Yeah, you should look. At I don't know. Right? I don't think I'm that because I mean it, it came out while we were both already playing. Wait, really? Is it that new? Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I only have four. I only have four of them. Ooh, I have one more than you. Let's go. <laughs> I, I must have missed my... a month somewhere. Yeah. Who that's am a... I going to pick out of this? See, yeah, I can pick Kaioken Goku. Of one so of yeah, these th- shitty Luffy's. Th- yeah, there's a lot of shitty Luffy's. So, that, yeah, that's basically them. I think they're pretty good. I'm probably going to end up skipping them just because not really feeling it for them. I I'm undecided. I might get them because if I get them, I could feasibly run an entire PvP team of just blue. <laughs> yeah, the ultimate blue. I think blue is currently the big meta team, isn't it? Just uh, blue so is much. pop. Blue is popular, and yellow is popular because it beats blue. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, green is up there ish, and red is almost non-existent. Uh, Reds is turn one Luffy Ace. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like turn one Luffy Ace. Occasionally you'll see an Endeavor. Um, Toriko gets some love sometimes. Kenpachi every now and again, but not very often. Uh, I'm trying to think. Of, I'm scrolling through limiteds quickly to see if there's any red that's actually like consistent. The problem is, is that Toriko all of them, might be the most popular one. Yeah. The problem is, is that all of them outside of Ace and Luffy just get fucking torn up by Blues. Kurusu against yeah. one of them. I, I saw a Kurusu deal like two thirds of a Toriko's damage, and I was like, hell yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, it's bad when Tanjiro used to be like the premier uh, debuff giver for PvP, mm-hmm. and now I haven't seen him in like weeks. Yeah, it's actually been a very long time since mm-hmm. I've seen him. So, Kaniku Man, you see him sometimes. You see Tanji Nezu sometimes. Uh, yeah, the original just, Tanji sometimes. When I started, um, the Tanjiro and Nezuko were rampant, and now they're not as here as often. Yeah, they're basically gone. It's, it's Oh, the new Sasuke you see a decent amount. Yeah, I've actually seen the new Sasuke. I think it might just be because he's new, though. <laughs> I, I think when... I mean, he's really bit. good. I think he's really strong, but um, I think his usage is going to plummet once he stops getting the buff. Yeah, likely. I have decided I'm going full meme team in PvP now. Mm-hmm. So my PvP team now is Ace and Luffy, which I might change for Gyu Tanjiro if I get them. Um, your girl, the the skater girl you like, yeah, curious. she's my second. Awesome. My third is uh, Tezuka from the Prince of Tennis, and my uh, last is Ryoma from the Prince of Tennis. <laughs> I love the fact that Kirisu is one of the best units on that team, <laughs> yep. more so than the. <laughs> Oh, I love my girl so much. Doing so much work. You're doing great, honey. Love it. <laughs> you love to see your, <laughs> your favorite shine. Killing it. Work it. Love it. So yeah, that's basically it for what is coming for um, banner-wise, but there's still more to talk about because holy shit, there's a lot coming in this 20 million download thing. 
let me see what I got here. So here's some um, banners coming up that uh, are limited banners for units. I think it's coming up because the Naruto um, event is coming eventually. We're going to get a Naruto into Baruto um, event pretty soon. So, Do you think we're going to get a uh, terrible dad haircut Naruto? Oh, 100%. Um, oh, that sucks so much. It's probably going to be the most, the second most anticipated dual unit is Terrible Dad uh, Naruto with Boruto. And then Boruto is just like a little douche to him the whole time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's he only shows up every once in a while. He treats him like a like a ninja dog. He just summons him every once in a while. <laughs> oh, okay, but a Naruto and Boruto team up. But what the win animation is that Naruto gets called away, and it turns out he was a shadow clone the entire time. <laughs> and then, <laughs> The win just... animation is that scene from Borto where he's carrying the birthday cake and he poofs away and drops the cake. <laughs> so you just see the cake on the floor and then <laughs> sad Borto. And then we can combine that with our idea for the <laughs> the one-eyed Sasuke whose win animation is Borto stabbing him. Oh yeah, we need... Go ahead, tell the people. Tell the people our our dream right. Boruto unit. Our dream Boruto unit is the Sasuke who, um, I guess it's the part where he's only one-eyed. The reason he gets one-eyed is that eventually in the manga he gets uh, shanked in the eyes. So the idea is that here's a Sasuke from that specific arc, and when you win, Boruto comes out of nowhere and fucking stabs him in the eye. And that's his it's win just post. like Rinnegan Sasuke fighting, and then his victory animation is just from off-screen, like from the right of the screen. <laughs> Boruto flies in and just stabs him in the eye. And so everyone else is like posed up and Sasuke's just laying on the ground clutching his eye. <laughs> Be so good. I would love that. I want that one at said Boruto. And then we can put it... Then you put them next to the two happiest ones, like the... Um, the other... Uh, let me see... Uh, uh, Fumino because her little Santa sprite animation has actually like a little like jump to it so she actually keeps moving <laughs> which is uh, something I actually don't see very many of the wind pose in most of them just kind of stay still for the most part but she actually like jumps up and down for the entirety of the wind um, really that's cool yeah there's a couple it, like that I think but yeah most of them just like stance up yeah but she actually does like a little I thought I thought it was very cute so obviously we should use that technology for the for the Sasuke and the Boruto. Writhing on the floor, Sasuke. Yeah, and sad cake Boruto. That's oh, what I want. Oh my god. Oh my god, limited sad cake Boruto. Yes. All for it. All for it. Um, so yeah, to prepare for that amazing celebration coming, they are going to be bringing back the Naruto Limited Gacha, and as well as the Itachi Limited Gacha, after we talked about how Itachi has not returned in a very long time they've decided to say oh shit they're right and release itachi yeah well itachi needed to come back it's been ages yeah uh there's also going to be a a wano showdown which i'm going to guess is all the wano limiteds which is oda kaido and zoro juro and to celebrate senku's birthday they are also going to be doing a rerun of Senku's birthday limited gacha. That limited Senku is so fucking cool. I don't use him anymore because he feels a little on the outdated side. Not really, but he just he's feels not as, as strong as like a lot of other yellows. Yeah, but yeah. the sprite is so good. His aura is just math problems. <laughs> That's great. The, yeah, the awake. See how they all, all the new limiteds these days have like auras when they awaken instead of just being like normal. Um. Senku's is instead of getting like a colored aura, he just has like E equals MC squared and like other math problems flying around him. That's it's great. Fucking awesome. I love that. Do you think we will get another Dr. Stone limited now that we're feeling dangerously close to the end of Dr. Stone? I think we probably will at some point. It'll either be like Sukasa or Dr. Zeno or something. You don't think it's going to be the Y Man? So I mean, I maybe not, not like the I, I real figure it. of Y Man, but I'm talking oh, about just like the, the skull, the, the, giant, <laughs> the giant fucking skull. <laughs> so he's just constantly going, and then when it wins, it shoots down Medusa's from the sky. <laughs> the most terrifying windscreen in the world. So that would be amazing. Though I guess if you win with whoever, whatever Y Man ends up being, I guess that would make more sense to turn the the screaming skull into 
uh, the wind pose, but I think it's way funnier if you make the Screaming Skull uh, an actual unit you can <laughs> use. That would be so funny. Would be. Uh, and then next we've got... Let me see. Okay, now to explain, because there's a lot of updates coming and a lot of news, so let's get into it. This was all on the live stream. Thankfully, OCHD has translated it all. If, As always, if uh, you should support OCHD. They do a lot of good work. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, please do. Th- this game would be unplayable without the work that they do. Yeah, they put in so much crazy work. So when I'm going to make fun of the fact that they've misspelled two as T-O-E, know that they are extremely hardworking and <laughs> it was a complete accident that they've misspelled toe as two as <laughs> toe. Because they do too much, man. It's too much to translate all at once. <laughs> That's like the one little thing that I've found so far. I think this is the first time I've ever seen them misspell something, so... That just shows how good they are at what they do and how helpful they are for the community. So, yeah. So, stamina recovery items are planning to be really added at the end of January. So, that's very nice, finally. After what feels like they were supposed to add it a little while ago, they decided to finally add it. Character slot increase is planned for February. Character pool update is planned for February. I don't know if that means for the... Um, GSSRs or for the selected ticket? I'm not sure, but maybe it's both. I would love if it was both, but yeah, we'll see about that. That would be. Cool. I'm always hesitant, even though this game is really generous. I'm always hesitant to be like, "Oh, it's probably a good thing." <laughs> that, Just from my gotcha trauma, you know. It is gotcha trauma. To be fair, it really is. Uh, the stamina recovery item is the little like. Um, it looks like to me like that thing that um, Luffy used in Alabasta to drink water from, but it has the symbol for Jampudi on it, the little uh, wheelie thingy. What the fuck is a wheel thing called in a ship? Wheelie thingy, what the fuck? The steering thing? Steering wheel. I think it's just the steering wheel. Oh, the, helm. <laughs> the helm. The helm. <laughs> uh, 50, uh, 50 stamina with that. I look forward to that because, oh my god, you need so much stamina in this fucking game. Yeah, you really did that. That's like my biggest complaint with this game is you need yeah. so much fucking stamina. Like so I just much. straight up will spend rupees on stamina because how the hell else am I supposed to do anything? Yeah, it's killing me on the inside that I'm going to miss the we never study event and I'm not going to be able to get the aura outfit for every single girl because you just need so much stamina for anything that it's actually impossible for me to get all f- uh, three of them for the characters I have. So I have to prioritize one. And start building towards the second for whenever that fucking event comes back. <laughs> don't know when, but when it does, I'll be ready. Uh, Hero jewels will be more readily available from various sources starting February. Uh, that's the new hero jewel that they introduced that you can use only on characters that aren't limited, which are actually super nice because I always had a bunch of units that were not limited that I needed to upgrade their stuff, but I didn't want to use any of my special stuff. <laughs> that could be used on limiteds on them. So it was actually kind of nice that they introduced the hero jewels. So I'm glad to see more of them will come in. Improvements and updates to the friend point gotcha are planned, but currently have no set release date. A practice mode for tower is planned, but currently has no set release date. Oh my God. That's I would love nothing more than the ability to actually practice a team instead of having to go into a fight to fight someone. Oh my God. I want that so bad. Yeah. I, I fucking love PvP, and I hate that I can only play it five times per day. Yeah. F- even though I think five times per day is pretty good amount for... Compared to the it's, doing it's ten good to get everything. For like, yeah, it's good for, like, reward. For no reward after that, because I think it's fun to, like, build and fine-tune teams. Yeah, exactly. I also think you've maybe fallen into a fishbowl. Say something? You just cut out. Say that again. Okay, my bad. I said you. It sounded like you fell into a fishbowl there for a second, but I think it was just a little bit of an internet problem. Okay. Either way, <laughs> a, a way to practice teams on the tower would be amazing. Hopefully, it gets yeah, added eventually. I would, I would absolutely love that. I'd be glad that they're working on it. Adding the ability to only collect certain items all at once from a gift box is planned for February. Not sure who asked for that, but sure. Um, updating the lineup of Legend Summon books and the Tower Store for Tower 3rd Anniversary is planned for February, which is nice because, oh my god, there's not a lot of the Legend Summon books in there. They need more. Yeah. Uh, improving they the need ability- to just let you fucking buy, mm-hmm. like, pick them from a menu. It's so yeah. frustrating to reset over and over again every day and never get them. 
Yeah, it really sucks. I don't even care if they increase the price. Just let me buy them from a damn menu. Yeah, that'd be much better than this random shit they got going on. Um, maybe they fear that it would be too. It would be way easier to just get them from the PvP shop. Than well, that's why be. I just increase the cost. All right, we're back. Let's get back to what we were talking about. This is the actual point where we lost the power, so now we can actually start with it. So let me see. We talked about the practice mode, adding the ability to collect only certain items. Okay, here we go. Adding the ability, updating the lineup story. This is what we were talking about for summon books. Improving the ability to summon on ticket gotcha multiple times at once is planned for April. I don't know what that means. Does that mean you would summon from multiple ticket gotchas at the same time? I guess so. I Maybe this is like with the friend point gotcha because you know how you can only do one multi <laughs> and you have like 5,000 multis on friend point banners? Maybe they'll finally add the ability for you to do like a hundred at once or something. Hmm. Hard to know on this one. We'll see what that does. We'll see it in April. Raising the investment limit for guilds is planned for April. That's cool. I'm not 100% sure what is investment limited though. <laughs> What's that? Investment limited? Yeah, investment limited for limit for guilds. Oh, it increases the amount of gold you can give to uh, the, like, increase attack, increase defense, increase oh. health thing. Okay, that. You know, you can donate good. one million a day. They're going to increase how much you can donate. Okay. I don't do that regularly, so. You should. <laughs> I had no. Should <laughs> it's I? It's good. Yeah, it, it increases the stats of everyone's accounts that's in the guild. Ooh, I'll do that then. I'll start doing that. I had no idea. I only go into the guild to put up my sticker and then call it a day. All right, let's see. Next. The following requested updates are still under consideration, meaning we hear you, but we don't know how to do that. We the hear you, but we might not do this. <laughs> yeah, so number one is, of course, please add Jujutsu Kaisen characters. <laughs> this For is the love the... of fucking God, <laughs> add Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, please. I'm, I'm kidding, but that would have actually been <laughs> the ultimate. We're taking this request under consideration. <laughs> Maybe. We'll think about it. <laughs> For the love. All right, first one. Here's one. Implementing measures to help hero and limited characters' performance degrading over time. So they're basically made the fact that, like, hey, everything from 2018 fucking blows now. What are we going to do? Yeah, they're literally like, yeah, look, we know it sucks. We are we don't have a fix yet. Will we fix it? Maybe. Maybe. Because they do occasionally buff characters, but it's not enough. I actually didn't it's, know that they did It's this not well. often, and it's not a huge buff generally. Yeah. Some characters have gotten some pretty nice buffs, but... They actually recently upgraded all the Musoys. They um, improved all of them, including uh, Giorno. Uh, and for some reason, Kurapika. Of all the limited reds from Hunter x Hunter that they could have improved, I don't know why they didn't pick the fucking Gone, the one I have. <laughs> 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 oh, did they update them recently? I need to see what yeah. those updates are. Because if Giorno's good again, I'm, uh, I'm in there. Yeah. No, not Giorno. My bad. The... The the Musoi. Oh, oh, the Musos. Oh, so you meant uh, Giotto. Giotto, my bad. Both of them are Italian. Wait, I'll start with wait. A they buffed Hashirama, Vegito, and, and Giotto? Yeah, they did. <laughs> that was the same reaction uh, Kaze had when I told him that they were buffing all three of them. Uh, Hashirama, I guess I understand, but why the other two? They're the best characters in the game. I don't know. They felt like it, I guess. Anyway, let's continue on before I lose uh, everything again. Implementing okay. a way... This is maybe the fucking funniest one for them to say. We're thinking about it. Implementing a way to back up your account other than Line. That's maybe the most like... So if you don't know this, the only way to back up your account is to put it with Line. And people are asking, hey, can you add another way to do it? The and then, because Jafuti's owed by Line, they're saying, hmm, maybe... <laughs> Yeah, they're like, mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, we'll <laughs> and we're all like, please, it. nobody wants to have a line account. For the love of God, please. No. It's like, listen, you want a line account just to get all this sweet. So you can occasionally, uh, the maybe the funniest thing about the fact that it's owned by line is that you can actually reply back to the line account and then you will sometimes get something. Like that was the way how you solved the murder. You saw, You sent them like, hey, I think this was the murder. And then they would reply to you, which is pretty funny. That is pretty funny. And next, adding stamp and legend summon sorting options. 
uh, <laughs> stamp sorting. Uh, this is maybe the funniest one of just like, hey, I just want my stamps to be sorted by series. Could you add that? And they're like, listen, man, maybe. I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> we don't want to think about this right now. Um, the following updates have been added to the game recently and can now be used. Adding a button to access limit break and level up evolved characters from info page. Added a tick box to use only half level ups. Recommended during super success campaigns. I was wondering what the fuck was the point of that tick box. And now I know. Oh, is that what that does? Yeah, apparently. It, it limits. Because when I tried so much. it. Yeah, it, you only use half of them. I was like, this doesn't seem good. But now that I know why, it makes a little bit more sense. Still a weird thing to add. Details on Pratt new game mode, Sparks of the Lost Civilization. Earn characters and wards exclusive to the game mode. Clear each stage to unlock the next. Bonus hero and event characters will get a key in getting a high score. The event will be updated monthly. The first character exclusive to Sparks of the Lost Civilization will be Poseidon from Saint Seiya. Which is, I think, the dude that just... No, it's not the dude that just got announced on the Taiwanese version, right? I don't know. Look, I don't keep just, up with the Taiwanese version enough. No, they just look similar because they're both blonde saints. So characters. now what I want to know is, does event exclusive character mean you can only use him in that event or you can only get him from that event? I think it means you only get him from this event. Because how much would that suck if you had like characters that could only be used in that? No, that would be... That would be suck. awful. Yeah. Awful. Actively bad. I don't think that's the way they're going to do it though. Stages will increase in difficulty as you progress. On each stage, aim for as high a score as possible. Earn rewards by clearing stages, achieving high ranks, and earning set number of SS ranks. That sounds bad, saying it like that. Um, but yeah, that is officially everything. Also, New Year's, Aurelia and Kaiba is coming back. I just felt like mentioning that because I care about both of those characters coming back. They're both free. Uh, I have... Do I have them both? You I know I have they're Kaiba. Both, they're both but... free, so you should both have both. you should have both of them. I don't remember if I ever farmed Aurelia when she was here. I know I farmed Kaiba. I think I do. I think I have her. Uh, I don't this... know. If I don't, I'll max it out now. Oh, and there's also apparently a Naruto, New Year's Naruto as well. Oh, that's the new one, I think. Is it? Because the last New Year's one for Naruto was Sasuke. It's the Yukata Sasuke. Yeah, this is... Apparently he's with Aureli on this banner. Hmm. Okay. I never realized this it's Naruto before. I knew about the Aureli and the, I knew about the Kaiba. I didn't know about him, though. So. I don't think there is, that, that might be new. I don't think there is a Yukata Naruto yet. Like, it was Sasuke before. Kaiba, Sasuke, and Aureli. Let me show you what he looks like, because it's not a Yukata. It's like a weird Jiraiya outfit, is the best way I could describe it. It almost feels like a cosplay of Jiraiya that's not 100% correct. Do you see it? Uh, yes, that's new, I think. Hmm. Well, either way, you'll be able to get him with Aureli. The ultimate team-up combo, Naruto and Aureli. <laughs> so yeah, that is officially everything. So much stuff coming. Jimputi Jams, this is maybe the most harrowing episode we've ever recorded, because I lost fucking power. I am now going to switch these to MKV. Even though I didn't do that before I did started this one, and now I'm afraid at all, always losing everything. But that's it, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. It means a for whole lot. For the love much. of God, leave a like. Especially for this one. This one was so funny and had a lot of good stuff in it, so it would have been a real shame. We would not have been able to recreate the sad Boruto if... It was bad enough that we recorded off screen the eye. The yeah, eye the eye Sasuke was a was an off screen recording. It was an absolute shame. Yeah. So glad we at least were able to do this. Thank you, everyone. We will see you in the next video, whatever, whatever we do, or the next Jumpudi anything. We don't have the next end. something. The <laughs> next something. And I will gladly get better at singing the Jujutsu Kaisen song until the time comes where it will no longer be necessary for me. Actually, it eventually will get to the point where you'll get your Jujutsu Kaisen character and then they'll stop adding Jujutsu Kaisen characters and it will return. So yeah, they're going to add like one Jujutsu Kaisen character and he's going to be free. It's going to be like a farmable Yuji. And then that's going to be it. No, it's going to be <laughs> And then it's going to be another months and months of nothing. Who's that um, anti-woman character from... Naoya? Jujutsu... Yeah, it's going to be free Naoya. <laughs> <laughs> only now yeah the only character they had yeah the ultimate uh the ultimate peak character. misogynist 
That's that's actually his name. It's now he a peak misogynist. <laughs> He's here to the anti-woman unit, the first ever anti-woman unit who specifically just targets women, <laughs> no one else. <laughs> he won't attack male characters. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that actually be funny in a fighting game sense, like you know how in um, Jump Force Sanjay refused to attack women, so he doesn't attack them. Mm -hmm. The exact opposite. This guy only attacks women. <laughs> <laughs> So he reviews, okay. reviews the fight, man. All right, everyone. Till next time. You have a good day. We'll see you later. We'll keep on gaming. Say goodbye. Steve. Goodbye, everybody. Peace out. Oh my god. <laughs> it's done. Yeah.